Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today I'm going to share with you guys my favorite app that I have found this month, and it is the best news source that I have ever found. This thing is super cool because you have different categories. You can fully curate it for exactly what you would like to see, uh, and you know, basically this is everything that I follow. I can add in all the different categories on the very top. Here are some of the local things. Even the weather is way better than any other weather app that I have used, and this right here is just built into the application itself. I can take a look at the weather radar. I can see when the next precipitation is supposed to happen and nothing's even coming for maybe 117 minutes. So it's pretty cool that you can go through, take a look at this weather. Uh, here's your local page search if you would like to search for more things you can even explore if any of these on the very top these categories are stuff that you would like to follow then you can add them in as follow again here's all the trending stuff happening here's notifications if i was to have any notifications and you can even log in so this way any phone that you go into you're able to have it all saved uh, I can discover more if I want to add in more of what I'm following and I can take a look at every single, you know, different article that I have recently read. So if you read something and you've totally forgot maybe a particular date or a big portion of it and there's something that's just bothering you and you knew you read it a few days ago, you can go right back there. On the very top, it's going to show you what to watch. Now, when you take a look at some of these, they're going to show you exactly where you can watch these or where they are trending. So this one right here is trending on Fandango. This one's trending on Netflix. You also have this one right here. And then if you tap on it, it's again going to show you all the different areas that you can watch it. So this application is called Smart News. Now, I was never introduced to it until just recently using the Galaxy A54. That is carrier locked to AT&T. So these are on AT&T devices. I never knew it. If you go inside of the search of the normal Google Play, search for Smart News, this is what it looks like. It's free. Uh, scrolling down, it has 50 million downloads. So there is a lot of people that use it, but then again, we're not at 100 million or 200 or 300 million. Uh, so it's still discoverable. And I love the way that this thing is all set up. So I'm gonna show you pretty much everything that you're able to do. So first off, when you download this, you're gonna go through and you are going to put in, uh, it's basically gonna find your location. You can give it the authority to you know, know where your location is. So this way you can get all of your local news, uh, but also too, you're, it's gonna ask you questions about what you would like to follow. What are you into? What is your uh, you know, interest? So basically here is everything that I selected. So I selected Android, I selected football, gaming, I selected Google, Kansas City Chiefs, mobile devices, movies, Samsung, science, technology, YouTube, and there's going to be more I'll add. I'm going to keep adding in more whenever they keep on coming. So if I wanted to add more in, I can go to discover more. I can add in computers or I can pick an MLB team. So when I chose the Kansas City Chiefs, if you select one of these that tells you pick your team, you select it, you scroll through, and then you find the team that you would like to follow. You can follow iPhone, you can follow iOS, software, Nintendo, devs, Travis Kelsey, because obviously I chose, you know, the Kansas City Chiefs, Peacock TV, Call of Duty, you know, soon I'm going to find one that's going to probably say Halo. You can follow anything in, you know, economy. Then you can take a look at publishers. If there's particular publishers, if there's news outlets that you love to read, then you just go through here. You can select all of them. So you got BuzzFeed, you got LAD, you got your Fox, you got your Express, Business Insider, Independent, ABC News, uh, LAD Bible. I don't know if I've said that or not already. I mean, there's so many of them in here. You can go through. You got CNN, NPR, Mental Floss, uh, Mother Jones, Men's Health, Wired. Oh, here we go. I'm going to add in Wired. I'm going to also add in Men's Health. There we go. Got a couple of additional ones. So now when you go inside of the home, you kind of have everything all set up. As you scroll on down, this is just everything that is top. And then it's going to tell you where they're actually coming from. So this is from Cubby, Mirror Online, TechCrunch, uh, the US Sun. You can go through so you can see all of this. Here's some of these if you want to add more in. Again, it's going to keep on letting you, you know, add stuff in. Here's some more publishers. Now, also while looking at top news, when you see these little areas on the very top, you can actually go through each of the different providers. So if you were to swipe through on the very top, I mean, you got your swipe downs right here, going through everything. 
uh, but you have all of your publishers on the very top, which is pretty cool. So if there's particular ones that you are, you know, a fan of, you can actually just go right through here. Check out the top news from US uh, Today, BBC, Politico, uh, Associated Press, NPR, Reuters, The Hill, and ABC News. So you can just keep on going through at least the top news from then. Other than that, everything's just going to be listed all down here, but all kind of uh, in whatever order they want to put it in. But pretty cool to take a look at this portion right here with inside of this top category. Then you can go inside of local. So this is going to show you everything local. This is also where you can check out the weather. Super, super cool. Again, weather radar. You can see when the next participation is supposed to happen. You can change these things to see if there was uh, weather uh, alerts, hurricane information, wildfires information. Uh, looks like, you know, it took me over into Arizona. Uh, now, let's see. I'm going to move on back. You can scroll down. This looks really cool. The colors. Uh, the icons are much better than the applications that I used. Then here's the local weather stories. Uh, and then everything right here is everything dealing with my Kansas City area. So there's stuff in Overland Park, Kansas, Overland Park, Kansas City, Kansas. Uh, so as I go through, I can read everything that's around here. For the search, this is going to be all of the main, you know, trending stories. I can search more news. This gives me more, uh, you know, topics that I can follow. So again, pretty cool. Notifications, nothing's really there. And then again, here is, you know, my page. So if you like to add in or delete some of these, you are able to do that. Now let's take a look at this page here. So if I was to swipe right, here is Shawnee. Swipe, here's everything that I follow. So this one's about football, football. Here's technology, here's movies, gaming, movies, football, technology, football. So I'm able to see everything. And on the very top, if I want, I can specifically just go to Kansas City Chiefs and every single story, you can see it's all being compiled when it actually happens, uh, which again, I love that. So here's all the news of Samsung two hours ago from The Verge, two hours from Mirror Online, uh, two hours ago from Phone Arena. So you can go through and read all of this stuff. So if we move on over, let's see, Android, let's see what's going on Android, two hours ago, two hours. So sometimes you get stuff from two minutes ago, uh, 16 minutes ago, whatever the case. Um, now, you know, you can still scroll down. Now we can move over into, uh, let's see here, entertainment. So just like when it comes down to this first category, which is top where you're able to swipe over through the different publishers. Well, here's one that's actually pretty cool. So if you head over inside of, let's say entertainment on the very top, it's going to show you what to watch. Now, when you take a look at some of these, they're going to show you exactly where you can watch these or where they are trending. So this one right here is trending on Fandango. This one's trending on Netflix. You also have this one right here. And then if you tap on it, it's again going to show you all the different areas that you can watch it. So you can watch it, you know, purchase it from Fandango. You can rent it from Apple TV Plus. Uh, you also have Prime Video as well as Vudu. So it's pretty fun that you're able to go through these movies, see what's trending, see where you can watch it. You know, Tetris right here. If you tap on this one, uh, you can get your tickets from Fandango or you can sub and watch on Apple TV Plus. And then you can also not only take a look at the movies, but also the TV shows. So if you're maybe wondering where you can watch The Last of Us, uh, you'd be able to take a look at this one. You can see it on HBO Max, Apple TV Plus and Prime Video. So when you go through, uh, take a look at this entertainment page. It's pretty fun to see where and what you can watch. And then lastly, when you tap on any of these shows, when you scroll down, you can kind of see again what it's about. You can see uh, which categories it's in. So this one's basically in the horror, thriller, mystery, drama, where you can watch it, and then some of the seasons. So you can take a look at season one, season two, the release dates, get some information on some of the, the uh, uh, episodes itself in particular. So it's a lot, a lot, a lot of details. Then you have cast and crew. You can go through, you can probably tap on somebody, see what other movies they have been in, uh, and then some of the related shows as well. So there's a lot of stuff going on with this one application alone. All of this one was just this entertainment tab right here uh, with inside of this one application, again, called Smart News. Then you also have Lifestyle. US politics, sports. Now here's the other thing. Let's say that we go into one of these articles. Now, sometimes you're going to see and read the article in this application, but sometimes you'll find an article that will actually take you online. So this is the web version. This is what I'm talking about from before. Here's the smart. So this is reading it on smart news itself. So it's in the dark mode, which for me, I like to read it. It's a little bit easier to read. But this is the exact same story, the exact same article as if you were to read it on the web. 
So it's literally the exact same, but this is just you reading it from their website. And then again, if you move it over into smart, you're reading it on smart news. Now, anytime that you are done, you can swipe. Uh, so look at this. If I swipe, basically going right, uh, then I'm able to get out of the article. So again, swipe out of that one. That's how you're able to get out. It's kind of like going back a page. So pretty cool UI when it comes down to this. So again, you can still go through all of these or you can just tap on the very top. Uh, and then up here, you're able to make changes. So you can tap to remove, hold and drag to reorder. So if there's some of these that you would like to move up, then you can bring them up. So tech, you know, maybe I want to bring it up over here, bring entertainment down a little bit underneath lifestyle. If there's again, any of these you do not wish to see on the very top, you can actually just tap on them. So this way they don't need to show. So if this just looks a little bit too busy for you, then it's a way that you're able to bring down to exactly what you would like to see. And then you just have just a few categories on the top. If you do ever want to pull them right back in, you go back to the screen, you tap on them, then they will actually re-show back up on the top. This is the application that is really taking over everything. Because again, if I just go here, I mean, it, that's it. <laughs> this is this is all you get. There's really nothing going on. It's very kind of 2D linear, doesn't do anything fun for me. This one, I can go left, I can go right, I can open stuff up. Now here's the other thing. Let's say that we go inside of like lifestyle and let's say that we read this article. Now inside of this article, you have this little share button so you can share it at a bunch of different areas. Now the other thing is let's say that you read this and you love it. You can actually add in the publisher on the very top. Uh, or what you can do is let's say that you see these three dots. If you tap there, if this is something that you would like to follow, you can follow. You can suggest less news from Secret Life of Mom, or maybe you're just not interested in this article and you can actually just take it off itself. And it's another way that you can share this as well. So if we go inside of tech, let's say that we tap right here, I can follow. You can already see that I am following. So if I already have technology, then now I can follow the publisher if I want to or I can have selected or suggest less news from Hollywood Unlocked. So if I'm not following their the way that they that they write things, you know, you can make your changes. So again, don't forget that you can hit that those, those little three dots. So then this way you can either get more of it, less of it or whatever. And again, on the very top, you can see that I'm already liking this topic, but then I can also like the publisher. So this is right here, my favorite app that I have just discovered. Thanks to the Galaxy A54 for having it already pre-installed, which is probably where most of the 50 million downloads come from is on those devices. So there's a lot of people to still discover this because a lot of people just stick with Google. But I'd have to say that this one's actually pretty cool. Uh, it does a much better job. It really breaks every single thing down, has a better weather application part of it. And so when you take a look at all this, this is the breakdown. This is exactly me seeing what I want to see at the time that I want to see it. And then everything in this page is everything that I'm following from all of my interests. So let me know what you guys think about this application. It's free. It's from the Play Store. Uh, write your comments below. Hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as I do. Uh, other than that, hopefully you guys appreciated it. Give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.